Hello and welcome back to City Skylines Better Cities. It's been a while, I've been quite busy with my work and personal life, but I'm back. And today we're going to be talking about top 20 office buildings that you could use in your city. Before we start, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and head out to my Instagram to see daily updates from the city. And now let's get started. At number one, we have a uh, mid-rise building called Modern Office by King Leno. It's a glass structure that looks really, really nice and it's going to fit in into any kind of city, into a modern city center, into a historic city center as a contrast to old buildings. A nice looking building, really, really good quality of detail and that is number one. By the way, we're not going to be uh, going at like the number one means the best and number 10 means the worst or vice versa and we're going to be jumping as you will notice we're going to be jumping back and forth between mid-rise buildings low-rise buildings and stuff like that but generally speaking first we're going to talk about offices and then we're going to switch to uh the ones that require rico mode residential industrial commercial um and office so uh let's move on to the next one at number two we have a binet business center that has two buildings in its collection and it's a of an office complex from paris and it also looks really nice clean design simple lines that could fit in really well into a modern kind of uh mid-rise mixed use neighborhood Let's move on to number three. At number three, once again, we have two buildings. We have uh, Sato Office 1 and Sato Office 2. And these two buildings, they also look really nice. Simple, clean design. I uh, particularly like uh, Sato Office 1. This is uh, this one, the white building you see on the left. Really, really nice. It has a lot of detail to it. Really good looking, modern, minimalistic structure. Now let's move on to number four. At number four, we have Modern Office Berlin. And that is another very simple, straightforward structure. Looks exactly what it is. You, uh, you can see it's an office. Uh, slightly boring, simple, minimalistic, really, really nice, good quality of detailing, a lot of uh, reflections, a lot of glass. Once again, that is one of those buildings that fits in really well regardless of the area and now let's move on to the next one a similar kind of building uh, all of them come from europe so that's the reason euro office building and it does look just like a regular office but once again with all the uh, detailing tools available you can add some ads you can add trees and other props with prop anarchy mode you can add stuff on top uh, on the rooftop and make it look really really unique now let's move on to number six and at number six we have two really really tall structures called one chase manhattan and the one on the left is 85 meters and the one you can see on the right is 125 meters and these offices could fit in really well into modern uh, mega policies like replicas of new york and other big cities or your own your very own unique uh, megapolis and now let's move on to number seven at number seven we have Kilbourne tower at 106 meters and it's a really really nice detailed uh, high quality building that's too much of a zoom high quality building designed by reaper reaper has a lot of really nice assets i highly recommend you go check out his workshop and i'm actually using his lot together with the theme mixer and it's he has a lot of really nice assets just go check it out moving on to number eight at number eight we have a slightly boring looking building with a cut through it to make it look a little bit nicer and it's called high office o2 by ozo and it's just another glass structure for your modern city center let's move on to the next one at number nine we have rich bank headquarters and it's another really nice looking building Minimalistic design, has a beautiful logo and two terraces, even a helicopter pad, good level of detail, modern looking building, not too tall, not too short, a perfect match for my city anyways. If it fits into your city, don't forget to head into description and find the link to the asset. And now let's move on to the assets that require the Rico mode. And number 10, we have Bank of Skylines, a must-have asset, really high quality looks like a regular bank 
building and it fits into any modern city center and it's just a really bold statement to show off how well your city is doing financially now let's move on to number 11 at number 11 we have a little bit more complex shaped evolution tower that's coming all the way from moscow and it's quite it's quite it looks like a dna or something anyway um we're not going to dig into design concepts for too long let's jump into the next one at number 12 we have lisa soho coming from beijing and is designed by zaha hadid architects and it looks some it looks really really interesting and it has uh, if i'm if i'm correct it has the tallest atrium in the world and you can see it in the game as well as it has transparent glass textures and you can see through the whole building which is really really nice and it also has the lights at night uh, which makes it look even better and now we're jumping straight into number 13 the salesforce tower iconic tower from san francisco one of the tallest buildings you can find on the workshop a very simple design and still it looks really 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 nice and i highly recommend you go check it out uh, now let's take a look at something a little bit lower we have a really nice looking building called mankanok financial center it has a really interesting looking structure and golden panels on top which makes it really really unique and it's an asset unlike any other on the workshop i do recommend you go check it out and now let's jump into the next one the japan tobacco hq somebody was asking about it the other day on the instagram and this is it this is it a really modern looking building with a really really complex shape the only downside the grass texture might be a little bit off but uh, with the prop anarchy mode you can easily cover it and make it truly yours now let's jump into the next one we have another large enormous building called uh, 200 greenwich designed by uh, big architects and that's one of the recently completed if i'm correct or nearing its completion project uh out of new york and that is another super tall structure that you could add into your city to make it look like a truly prosperous modern megapolis or whatever you have in your mind and let's move on to the next one jumping down again to the ground level we have this beautiful building that could work on its own or as a part of uh, a skyscraper complex this one is called cube berlin and then there is another german word that i won't try to pronounce um beautiful looking building minimalistic design dark glass which is kind of rare really nice looking building now let's move on to the next one once again we have two buildings and uh, these two buildings are called smart hub Oberlon. and these two are probably part of a um a larger office uh complex and i i really hope we can have more of these buildings so far we only have two and these two look really really nice really good uh, level of detail nice colors nice textures really nice asset to have in your city and now uh right next to it we have another office building that is called big office building that's quite literally what it's called and it's not that big to be honest but it still looks really nice because it has it's kind of it's like a podium and a tower you have a teeny tiny park on top and i think there is a way to make your citizens use it if you add a couple of paths and you use some anarchy and other modes you can make it you can make it work you can add invisible path and other things and uh, make it come to life quite literally and let's take a look at the last one the last one is coming all the way from spain and it's called indra indra Badaya, badajos uh once again apologies for my spanish i didn't really learn spanish so yeah indra whatever building is a really really nice looking office building low rise structure with a lot of thought and a lot of effort put into its design a beautiful beautiful office once again you can make these paths work with invisible path and other modes and that is pretty much it for today that is the last office that i wanted to show you once again you will find all the links in the description don't forget to check it out and subscribe to the assets of your choice and um, thank you so much for watching don't forget to check out my instagram and i will see you in the next one Bye bye